today we will discuss trigonometric basic formula. Okay, dear students, let us consider our blackboard as as a pen. Okay, we are drawing two lines. So first of all, drawing horizontal line. So x axis and draw the vertical line. Here is the y axis. Okay. Now the plane can be divided into how many coordinates? Four coordinates. Okay. So it is the first coordinate number one. It is the second coordinate. It is the third coordinate, and it is the fourth coordinate. Okay. So <coughs> in first coordinate we have take the angle ninety minus theta, three sixty plus theta. Okay. Let us consider in first coordinate ninety minus theta, three sixty plus theta. In second quadrant, we have to consider 90 plus theta, 180 minus theta. For third quadrant, we have to consider 180 plus theta, 270 minus theta. For fourth quadrant, we have to consider 270 plus theta and 360 minus theta. Okay. By using these four quadrants, we have some basic formula in trigonometry. Okay. <coughs> First one. In first one, how many trigonometric ratios are there? Totally six ratios. What are they? The first one is sine theta. The second one is cos theta. The third one is tan theta. Fourth one, cot theta. Fifth one, sec theta. And the sixth ratio is cosec theta. So these are the six ratios in trigonometric chapter. Okay. So, in first quadrant, okay, all are positive. We have to learn some basic formulas by using one sentence. That sentence is all students takes coffee. What is that statement? Sentence. So, all students takes coffee. All means how many ratios are there? Six ratios. The six ratios are positive in first quadrant. And in student, the first letter is S. S for sign. So that's a sign and its reciprocal is cosec. So that's a sign and cosec are positive in second quadrant. And the remaining four are negative. Remaining means Cos theta, tan theta, cot theta, sec theta, negative. Okay, it's clear. Next, go to third coordinate. In third coordinate, we have takes. In takes, the first letter is T. T for tan. So that's the tan. What is the reciprocal of tan? Cot. So tan theta and cot theta are positive in the third coordinate. The remaining four are negative. Next, last coordinate. For last coordinate, we have coffee. In coffee, the first letter is C. C for cos. What is the reciprocal of C? Cos C. So that's the cos theta and sec theta are positive in fourth point. The remaining four are negative. Okay. First one. <coughs> From the first one. Okay. We have to learn some basic formulas now. According to the first one, what about the first angle? 90 minus theta. Okay. So sine of 90 minus theta. Okay. For learning of sine of 90 minus theta, you have to uh, notice that. Note that the first one is 90 degrees and 270 degrees are odd angles. These are called odd angles. In this case, sine will be changed into cos. Cos will be changing to sin. Okay, they are mutually changed. Next, tan will be changing to cot and cot will be changing to tan. Next, sec will be changing to cosec and cosec will be changing to sec. Okay, this is the concept of whenever having 90 degrees and 270 degrees. Next, the second note is whenever having 180 degrees and 360 degrees. 
these angles are called even angles even angles so in this case so the ratio will not be changing that means sine to sine okay will not be changing next to cos to cos okay next to tan to tan it means as is the ratio will not be changing okay by using these two nodes we can learn some formulas <coughs> first let us consider first point sin 90 minus theta friends observe here 90 90 degrees is the order again in this case sin will be changed into cos so that's why what is the formula sin of 90 minus theta becomes cos theta is it clear next we are playing the second ratio so cos of 90 minus theta is equal to okay according to this concept cos will be changed into sin so i do next is sin theta okay if you continue this way next ratio is tan so tan of 90 minus theta is equal to tan will be changed into cos so that's why cos theta next <coughs> Cot of 90 minus theta is equal to tan theta. Next, fifth one is sec theta. So, therefore, sec of 90 minus theta is equal to sec will be changed into cosec. So, cosec theta. Or next, cosec of 90 minus theta is equal to sec theta. This is the concept of cos to coordinate. Next, we have to consider the 360 plus theta. Okay, so first ratio is sine. Apply the sine for 360 plus theta. So sine of 360 plus theta is, is equal to here 360 is the even angle. Even angle. In this case, the ratio will not be changed. That means sine of 360 plus theta is becomes sine theta. It's very simple. Okay. So next cos of so 360 plus theta is equal to cos theta. Okay. Or next tan function. So tan of 360 plus theta is equal to tan theta. Next, the fourth ratio is cot of 360 plus theta is equal to cot theta. Next, the fifth one is so sec of 360 plus theta is equal to sec theta. Next, the last one, cosec. Cosec of 360 plus theta is equal to cosec theta. That means the ratio will not be changed. Okay. Okay. Next, for second coordinate. In second coordinate, we have next angle 90 plus theta. Okay. Next, sine of 90 plus theta is equal to sine will be changed into cos so that's why you can write cos theta this means observe here 90 plus theta is belongs to which coordinate second coordinate in second coordinate sine is the positive so that's why you can write here plus sine okay or next to the second one is cos of 90 plus theta is equal to cos will be changed into sine so that's why you can write sine theta but Cos is the negative in second coordinate, so that's why we can write minus sign. Or next, tan function. So tan of 90 plus theta is equal to okay. Tan will be changed into cot theta, so it is equal to cot theta. But in second coordinate, tan is the negative. Okay, write down minus sign. Next, the fourth ratio is cot of 90 plus theta is equal to cot will be changed into tan theta. But cot is the negative. Okay. Same like that, the fifth one is cosec of 90 plus theta is equal to sec theta, but cosec is the positive in second coordinate. Next, the sixth one is sec of 90 plus theta is equal to sec will be changed into cosec theta. So, therefore, cosec theta, but sec is the negative in second coordinate. Okay, next, if you let us consider 180 minus theta. For 180 minus theta, the first one is sine of 
180 minus theta is equal to here 180 is the even angle okay sine is the positive in second one angle. so that's what we write plus sign so plus sine theta okay or next cos of 180 minus theta is equal to you can write minus okay because the second quadrant cos is the negative sign so minus cos theta so next the third one is tan of 180 minus theta is equal to minus tan theta okay next the fourth ratio is cot of 180 minus theta is equal to minus cot theta okay next the fifth ratio is secant of 180 minus theta is equal to minus secant theta the last ratio is cosecant so cosecant of 180 minus theta is equal to in second point cosec is the positive so that's why we write plus sign and cosec theta okay yes students observe here in second point sign and cosec are positive and the remaining four are negative for third point you have to consider 180 plus theta okay next sign function first issue is sign so sign of 180 plus theta is equal to okay 180 plus theta is belongs to third quadrant. In third quadrant, sign is the negative. So that's why we take minus. The ratio will not be changed. That means minus sine theta. Okay. Next, cos of 180 plus theta is equal to minus cos theta. Okay. Next to the third one is tan function of 180 plus theta is equal to tan theta. Because in third quadrant tan is the positive. And the fourth one, cot function of 180 plus theta is equal to, okay, so cot theta, because in third point tan and cot are positive and the remaining are negative. So fifth ratio is, so sec of 180 plus theta is equal to sec theta. The last ratio is per second, so per second of 180 plus theta is equal to minus per second theta, okay. Dear students, Observe here, tan 180 plus theta is equal to plus tan theta, cot 180 plus theta is equal to cot. These are the positive. The remaining four are negative. This is the concept of third quadrant. Next, let us consider 270 minus theta. Okay. So the first ratio is sine of 270 minus theta is equal to. Here 270 is the order again. Okay. So sine will be changed into cos. So I don't have cos theta, but sine is the negative in third one. I don't have minus sin. So next two, cos of 270 minus theta is equal to minus sine theta because cos will be changed into sine theta. Okay. Next two, tan of 270 minus theta is equal to minus cos theta. Okay. Plus cos because sine is the positive plus sine in the third one. Next, the fourth ratio, cot of 270 minus theta is becomes plus tan theta. Okay. Next, fifth one is what is the fifth ratio? Secant. So, therefore, secant of 270 minus theta is equal to minus per second of theta. Next, per second of 270 minus theta is equal to minus sec theta. Okay. So, this is the concept of third point. Okay, for fourth quadrant, last quadrant. Okay, so sine of okay apply the two seventy plus theta. So sine of two seventy plus theta is equal to okay. Sine will be changing to cos. So cos theta. But sine is the negative in fourth quadrant minus sine. Next to cos of so two seventy plus theta is equal to plus so sine theta because cos is the positive. Fourth quadrant. Next, if you continue this way, so tan of 270 plus theta is equal to you get minus cot theta. Okay. Next, cot of 270 plus theta is equal to minus tan theta. Next, secant of 270 plus theta is equal to okay minus so plus per second. Next, let us consider 360 minus theta. Okay, last one. So, sine of 
360 minus theta is equals to okay. 360 minus 360 is the even angle. The ratio will not be changed, okay, right? As it is. So sin is the negative in fourth quadrant. So write down minus sin theta. Next to cos of 360 minus theta is equals to plus cos theta. Okay. Next to the third one is tan function of 360 minus theta is equals to minus tan theta. Next to the fourth ratio is cot of so 360 minus theta is equals to minus cot theta. And fifth ratio is secant of 360 minus theta is equals to plus sec theta. Okay. Next to the last ratio, cosecant of 360 minus theta is equals to minus per second theta. Yes, friends, observe here in fourth quadrant cos sec are positive. So that's why cos and sec are positive. The remaining are negative.